Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I am done shade bathing and I am ready to go over to the uh, next duelist, which is Joshua. Mint, I've made a brand new deck. I haven't seen my first battle with it so I can have it with you. Let's play! No. Dang, I want to give my new deck a spin. I want to gauge his power. Uh, what do you mean? Come on, let's battle! Wow, you don't have much dialogue at all. People are probably going, Yay! I'm tired of waiting through dialogue. <laughs> Number of prize cards remains the same. Four prizes, just like the first game. Energy removal deck! Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> so his deck could prove to be difficult to... Ooh, that's a bad opening hand. Could prove to be difficult to beat. We'll see how things turn out. Uh, just hope that I won't get knocked out in one turn by something. It doesn't look like I will, but, you know, <laughs> just, just, yeah. yeah, I think we're good. So I think I can hold off on the Charmeleon at the moment and just be able to attack, you know? <laughs> I want to at least do a little bit of damage before I evolve into Charmeleon and then use Professor Oak, just because of the pressure, basically, of just damage output in general. And yeah, this would be the time that I want to evolve into Charmeleon for sure then. Regardless of uh, if I could attack or not. Um, plop that on there. Plop that on there. And now, I'm going to test this again. <laughs> if, I, if I discard their cycle energy, will it come back to my hand with Professor Oak? It didn't before, but it really should by the wording of things. No, it didn't, because I got seven cards in my hand. What the poop? <laughs> Unless maybe it's some sort of loophole with the way Professor Oak is worded. Like, if you, if you look at the... Uh, wait, Mint's Discard 32? Must be another glitchy emulation thing. But yeah, the way that Professor Oak is worded, like, maybe what happens is that it gets discarded twice? Like, you discard it with Professor Oak, and then it comes back to your hand, and then it discards, and it comes... Yeah, it would be like an infinite loop then, because it, it comes back to your hand when it's discarded, and Professor Oak hasn't resolved yet. Maybe? I don't know! <laughs> anyway, oh, um... Oh, uh... Yeah, I don't have, uh... More basics, that could be a problem. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, we'll see how things turn out. Wait, you evolved a Poliwhirl? Why? You could have done 40 damage to my Charmeleon. I, I guess you want to possibly prevent damage? Maybe? Oh, if I got a basic, okay, but maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely going to flamethrower since I have the opportunity to, but yeah, I was expecting Charmeleon to be having 20 HP left, you know, with the water gun being double powered up. No! <laughs> no oh, wait, no, 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 wait! That, wait, wait, that Poliwag... That wasn't water gun Poliwag, come to think of it. Yeah, that was... Yeah, maybe, I don't know, was I like overthinking that or something? Yeah, I think I was overthinking that because the Poliwag only has that bubble. Right, right, right. So I was relatively safe overall. <laughs> um, I definitely plopping that on there, but I'm thinking of the double colorless for the future, maybe. Um, maybe on Charmeleon, but I don't know if I really need that on Charmeleon based on what I have set up now. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, just, I, I, I may just end up having to re-battle him, because now I'm I'm in the driver's seat. Uh, yeah, that's, uh... Wow. What a turnaround. <laughs> Where are those energy removal, anyway? That would have been... That would have been more devastating to Charmeleon than anything. Oh, man, I thought I could win with this deck. Flight booster pack. Let's see what we get. Not new, but it's always nice to have extra copies of stuff. Uh, unless you're Porygon. <laughs> uh, oh, cool, Porygon is fine. I'm talking about the base set, but that can't be made haphazardly. You've got to build it carefully. 
I've been waiting, man. Come on, let's battle! Yes! <laughs> We're gonna try it again! I hope this doesn't end up like that girl. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go with Bulbasaur. And set the Charm <coughs> Charmanders on the deck. Put on the bench! And see what we draw out of our deck later on, like Fire Energy or something like that. I think I'm gonna mainly be going for that Venusaur. That Mewtwo may be an issue by the time I get the Venusaur, but maybe not. I don't know, but let's just focus on tackling for now and see how things go. I mean, I, I definitely could get a Mewtwo by the time it'll start attacking, but I mean, like, actually being able to damage stuff with it. Uh, yeah. Might not be able to, as I thought. We'll see. I, at the very least, I could just evolve into... Oh, there we go. I was going to say evolve into Venusaur. Now I'm thinking about the complete cut. Well, well, well <laughs> yeah, I'll just do it like that. I mean, I can't attack, but I'll at least be able to evolve into Venusaur and then begin the sweeping, you know? Although, actually, do I want, come to think of it, do I want the Venusaur? Now that I think about it, because it's got the, oops, because it's got the energy requirements of four, yeah, I don't have that much grass in general, and I'm not expecting to get that much grass with Professor Oak. Hmm. Hmm. I'll give it one more turn. <laughs> Just to see how things go. And side blast, of course. And discarding, possibly. Nope, not this time. That is okay with me. So, alright, let's see what we have. Okay, grass energy. Let's plop that on there. And I guess I should leech seed. Probably. Maybe. Now, she's probably gonna go. I'm. She. He's probably gonna go for the complete recovery. Uh, at least that's what I would do at this point, probably. Ooh, really? Mm. I'm not sure I would have gone like that, but. Well. Well, that's how you went. <laughs> Maybe because you wanted to discard the energy, but the thing about it is... Yeah... I've... Yeah... I'm just, I could just kind of stall you out anyway. And... Actually, do I want to... Maybe I should do that. The boss's way and then grab... Dark Charmeleon for the other Charmander that I'm not powering up... At the moment in time, then Professor Oak. I was thinking what I should use the boss's way for, and maybe that's how I should use it, just to kind of cycle through things here. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, we're done for this turn. <laughs> go, go ahead and knock out that Venusaur if you like. <laughs> and nothing will happen to your Mewtwo. Oh, you went for the, that Charmander? Should have went for the Charmeleon, actually. Um... Alright, that's fine by me. I'm not attacking with Venusaur anyway. And I'm gonna go begin the powering up of the Dark Charmeleon into Dark Charizard soon enough. Wonder if, wait, actually, maybe I should just evolve it right now. It has more HP. And... Well... Well, mm, Eh, I, ha I have the double colorless, so I might as well do that. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, it's going to be a surprise attack, even if he's energy removaling, you know? So there you go. You have a happy time knocking out the Venusaur. And then I plop in the Dark Charizard and probably continuous fireball to your doom. I can't really do anything else, so I just need one head. Any head will do. Oh, man! <laughs> That's okay. I can always attach another energy if it gets discarded. But yeah, I figured I would at least get one head flip out of that, that was just bad luck. And... Nope, no discard even. So yeah, that should be fine to just attack again with two energy cards rather than give another. Because I don't want to overextend the energy, as I mentioned before, with uh, Dark Charizard, because of the thing of if you do not have any... I mean, if, excuse me, if you, yeah, if you don't have any energy attached to Dark Charizard, you can't attack with it, and you have to keep discarding to attack with it. 
I mean, you can do a nail flick, I guess, but I mean, the, th the thing about it is you don't want to use too much attack power for what's out there, because you might just end up discarding more energy cards than you want to, basically. And no paralysis, so I will be continuously fireballing on the next turn and then finishing you off with the Charmeleon, or perhaps the Charizard, that could very well be a factor. If I get two heads here, that would be pretty nice. Wow! That's 100 damage for two energy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's only a 25% chance of working out, but wow! Okay, so my luck is back. <laughs> And it doesn't matter what coin flip it's gonna be, it's gonna be a knockout to Dark Charizard. But yeah. Yeah, uh, Now it's, it's kinda trouble for... <laughs> there we go! There we go! <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's another duelist. Wasn't meant to be. As, uh... As a challenge, I guess you could say. I mean, he doesn't have his energy removal tactics, which is always powerful, but it's just... I don't know, it's just... My opponents lately... Yep. <laughs> they lose! I don't know! Oh, man, I thought I would have done a flight. <laughs> Let's see... Seed draw, wow! Uh, I don't, didn't have one of these before. And... You may do 10 damage to any of your opponent's bench Pokemon for extra water energy cards. So, you can actually put as many water energy cards on it as you please. Like, say, with the Rain Dance Blastoise. Put, like, 20 energy on the Sea Draw and knock out a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> in a single turn. <laughs> yeah, so it has a lot of power potential. So, you might want to consider that. <laughs> uh, I don't have another copy of that, though. And I don't have, like, a full-fledged Rain Dance deck. Anyway, in general, like, the capabilities to make one. I need more Blastoise. Uh, ooh! I got the good old Lapras. All these nice... Oh, new Dodrio. Uh, I can kick for one energy. Try attack. Three coins. Twenty times the number of heads. Yep, it's kind of kind of standard, but... That is your Dodrio. As they always seem to have some sort of try attack for their three heads. A deck can be made haphazardly. You gotta build it carefully. Yes, yes. Even though I used the deck that you should have quite an advantage to. Alright, I'm gonna select the Swift deck for the next one. Just to kind of have a back and forth battle of powerful waters and powerful lightnings and powerful fighting, you know, you know what I mean, just to see how it is versus the big bad boss here, Amy. Oh, Mint! What are your successes? You've been showing everyone on GR Island how strong you are. The cards that have been returned allow me to make a decent deck. How about it? Would you like to see it in action? Nope. I thought I'd be able to give you a real challenge. Oh, well. Oh, you're back, Mint. Yes. I left and came back the next day. How goes the Team GR battling? Since you're here and everything, why not have a roam with me? Okay, let's do six prize cards. Sound good to you? It does. Rain Prayer Confusion deck is a go go, and beware the rain. Beware the rain indeed. Uh, ooh, um. Oh, that's. Well, I was gonna say, should I, I should leave with Voltorb to do double damage to stuff, possibly, but I don't have energy for that. I don't, I don't know if I'll get energy if I use Bill. So I might as well play to what I know rather than what I don't know. So I'll lead with Machop instead. Defender. Ooh. That could be a nice little surprise. Anyway, let's do the bill. And fighting Dark Electrode. Yeah, I did not get any sort of lightning. So let's low kick. And start nicking away at Lapras's 80 HP. It'll take four, t four turns to do so with Machop. That's one of the powers of this version of Lapras. Lots of HP for a basic Pokemon. And so it can definitely have a lot of turns to ooh, a lot of turns to stall and power up that uh, water gun. But now <laughs> we're gonna do this. We're gonna low kick. Now she's probably gonna go for the confuse rate instead of the water gun next turn then. So my plan still may not work, but my idea is to keep Machop at a decent amount of HP. And then what I'll do is switch it 
with the Volt Orb and do double damage to knock out the Lapras with the Speed Ball. Wow, really? Really? You didn't go for the Confuse Ray. Very interesting. Um, just wonder what I should do here, though. I mean, I am, I am gonna speedball that, but I'm thinking like for the future turns. Hmm. Hmm. I should probably play it on the fresh mod shop just in general. And speedball. <laughs> All right. There is a knockout. And I don't have that many lightning Pokemon in, well, at least that, that like, like super powerful or anything like that. So yeah, this is still gonna be a pretty good match in general. That Dugong though, um, you're, are you gonna go for the rest? You're probably gonna go for the rest. <laughs> that's that's my prediction. So what I'm gonna do? Dark Electrode, Energy Bomb, and we're gonna kind of distribute the energy equally for their evolutions. And there we go! <laughs> Double damage, knock out to that poor, poor gong. And... You'll be pounding with the Squirtle. Cast in the green reflective lights. And wait, isn't Electrode able to attack? Yeah, with just anything. Hmm... You know what I should do? You know what I should do? I think you see what I should do here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then we end our turn. And then Professor Oak will be able to give us a Machamp power-up with the last energy card and then kind of sweep for the win. Yeah, Voltor is not really going to make that much of a difference here. Even though, you know, double damage and everything. Oh, jeez, here comes the rain dance! <laughs> I told you to beware of the rain. I told you. <laughs> so now she's gonna be putting all the water on all the critters. <laughs> exactly what I would have done, as you see me do that versus Aaron. Um. So yeah, we're gonna go, Machamp. Unfortunately, Dark Electrode has a one retreat cost, so I couldn't like gust of wind into the Blastoise, and then destroy it with the Machamp, like, you know, switch into it. But it's gonna take me a couple... Actually, oh, oh, oh! I should actually do that in general! Because it's it takes three energy to attack with the Hydro Pump, and she just dumped out her hand of cards. Ah! 200 IQ! <laughs> Alright, I'm not attacking with Electrode. I'm just gonna see what I get with Professor Oak. I mean, I already attached the energy... Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, excuse me, I'm already gonna attach the energy. <laughs> Bad wording. Bad wording. And you know, I got another mod, got another mod champ there. And I got a switch. <laughs> Holy moly! That is, that just accelerated things a few turns there. <laughs> See, this is why I should not hold on to Professor Oak. Just expecting regular jaws. I just Professor Oak immediately. Just call it a day. Um, I should probably go for the other Macho Machamp, as long as I've got it. And there goes the Rain Dance. Well, she's probably going to put another one out there eventually, but yeah. There goes the Rain Dance for now, maybe. In a bite for 40, but Strikes Back is going to cause 10 damage, which is actually going to be a huge detriment because that puts her within one knockout of Seismic Toss range. Um, as long as I got Defender now, I'll do that. Seismic Toss. And there is the knockout. Voila, I say. And... She's gonna probably go for the... Yeah, I was gonna say the Confuser this time. Because it just seemed like it, she should have did that before with the... But, well... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really work, but should have been doing that. Um, I'm just gonna go for yeah, my champ. There we go. Oops, up, up. Seismic. And then she's probably gonna go for the Confusery again. She may go for the Water Gun because it can do 20 more, but yeah, I was, I was figuring Confusery because 
the confusion damage is more likely to be a factor than anything. And now it's in Strikes Back range, so ooh, I could actually scoop up the Machamp if I wanted to. I mean, I only get the Machop back, but... Should I just attack and try to go for the KO, or just let Lapras attack and KO itself? Because I might just end up doing the same amount of damage that the Lapras will do to myself. Anyway, so yeah, I think I'm just going to let it try to knock out Machamp on its own. There you go. <laughs> you know, there's your 20, but then you take 10 because of the... Oh no, that's... Oh, that was wrong, because a sleep confused or paralyzed. Yeah, it disables the strikes back. Ah, oh, poopers. Alright, so let's just go for the seismic toss then. Yeah, I, I always forget about the status conditions. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, also I could have switched over to the other Machamp because of the other strikes back, but that's uh, not that big of a factor or anything like that. You finally got a prize card! Yay! Uh, ooh, gust of wind. I will consider that for future sleeping. And water gun for 30? Yeah. That's what I figured. Because <laughs> you didn't, yeah, you didn't expect really to, con to confuse all day, did you? Yeah, I didn't think so. So it's so all she's got a dugong. And now it's going to be like a battle of energy cards. If I can get an energy card on the next turn, I win. If she can knock it out with the dugong by then, like if I don't get an energy card, I lose. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Actually, I got the Voltorb waiting in the wings as well. Uh, there's also, yeah, I guess the possible confusion damage. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't think of that actually. Yeah, go, go, go ahead and knock out my champ. You'll, you'll knock yourself down to 40 HP. Then I switch in the Voltorb to do double damage, and then I win. <laughs> there you go. Well, actually, that's not a knockout. Um, well, I could. Oh, that. Oh, this strikes back again. It gets confused. I. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Let's just switch. That'll cure the confusion. Then I'll speedball. And then hopefully I'll have an energy to finish off the Dukong with uh, uh, Machamp or anything else that just has the ability to do 10 damage, basically. And Confusion, that's fine. Electabuzz... Oh, yeah, I don't have anything that can attack just straight out, other than just attacking and hoping that the Confusion damage doesn't hit me. Might as well. I mean, I'll get heads eventually, right? I got heads. <laughs> there we go. So that ended up being a pretty good duel in general, anyway. Like I said, the, the Voltorbs didn't make that much of a difference. So, it, yeah, it wasn't so much about the the double damage weakness as it was the uh, the whole attack power versus attack power match. And I just moved my cable there. That's okay. We didn't disconnect anything. <laughs> Assault Booster Pack. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Clefairy. Possibly go to sleep. Copy and attacks. Except for the energy costs. It's kind of like that uh, Clefables metronome, only with one more energy card. So it ev when it evolves, it gets less energy cost, basically. It, it, it's not as intuitive. <laughs> yeah. As you, as you think evolution would, because evolution's usually more energy cards, but not in this case. Anyway, let's keep moving on. Uh, oh, this Graveler. I don't think I showed this one before. Flip two coins, reach heads to your opponent's bench Pokemon, and do 10 damage to it. So, bench Pokemon are not safe, and that means this attack actually does 50 damage instead of 30, but only 30 to the active Pokemon. Well, I mean, it... it It'll, it'll average 40, I should say, because, you know, the coin flips. But details! Details! And let's keep moving on. With the goo and on. Assault booster pack. Once more. Alas. Look at that. Kind of offsetting those trainer cards. Possibly, and maybe, but I don't know if I want to use it. I, I use a lot of trainer cards 
in my builds, so that might be a detriment to me more than anything. Especially since I can't, like, use Lass and then Professor Oak, because Professor Oak is a trainer card, so that would go into the deck. See what I mean? Same with Bill and the like. Anyway, let's keep going. Mm, that's all! I know your fights against Team GR are all deadly serious. Just remember to have a little bit of fun along the way, too, okay? Oh, I am, definitely! <laughs> I think they are as well. They don't seem to be as bad as they they initially made it themselves out to be, you know? You know? They, a lot of them seem reasonable. But anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I flop on over to the next club.